I instantly prepare myself to get jumped. Balled up his fist and punched me. I need you to call the police right now. Um. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, and if you are new, I'm Miriam J. I'm gonna try my best to keep this video short, simple, and cute, because it's a pretty long freaking story, so go grab some popcorn. So this incident that happened to me happened a little under a year ago, and I have not been able to talk about it because it was a pending criminal case. Yup, it was that serious, y'all. It was a pending criminal case, that just got settled and now I'm able to talk about it. So this incident has caused a lot of like personal trauma for me. I literally like refuse to go out unless I'm being accompanied by somebody that I know will protect me. This incident has also caused some drama which was a result of me losing a few friends unfortunately. However these friends are heavily relevant to this story. I literally cannot tell this story without mentioning them. So for the purposes of not wanting to reignite any drama, I'm going to use different names for these people and I'm only going to talk about them as it relates to this story. I'm gonna try my best not to talk about the drama that happened between me and them because honestly I just think it was like a lot of miscommunication but you know whatever. So one of my old friends we're gonna call her Wanda. Wanda was having a special occasion. Wanda decided to celebrate her special occasion at this club who was hosting this day party. We get ready at my house, we hop in an Uber, and we go to this club. I have to explain the layout of this club because it's very relevant. So you go through the door, you walk up these flight of stairs, and you get to the second level, which is more like a mezzanine because it overlooks like a bottom level. This second level has a bar, VIP area, dance floor, and a door on the other side of the room which leads out to this patio which also has VIP sections, a bar, a dance floor. And this is where all of the action was happening. That's where the music was playing, that's where majority of the people were, that's where everybody was dancing. Wanda and I have many things in common. One of the things we have in common is that we're very bougie like super bougie when we walk out onto the patio we notice that it's kind of a little ratchet and there aren't many people there so i'm like are we early but whatever we're already here might as well make the best of it might as well have fun so you know we're chilling we're vibing you know whatever like i mentioned before wanda was having a special occasion so you know she was drinking me personally i chose not to drink one because honestly i was not feeling well that day i was just being a good sport and two i had a very important event to be at the next morning so i was like okay i can't drink so she was drinking alcohol i was drinking red bull whatever wanda then gets a text from one of our mutual friends we're gonna call him cosmo <laughs> wanda and cosmo not trying to be shady that was literally the first name that came to mind so she gets a text message from cosmo saying hey i'm gonna be pulling up soon and we're like oh shoot lit like you know cosmo's coming he's actually really fun to be around he shows up he offers us a drink and you know i accept it i was like you know one drink won't hurt um so i order a margarita under cosmo's tab or whatever so it gets mad hot outside so we decide to move inside to that second level mezzanine that i was telling you guys about yeah so we chill at the bar we're talking whatever so i was getting to a point where i was just like i'm not feeling well and i was about to throw my margarita away but i was like Wanda, do you want this margarita i'm like i'm literally about to throw it away and she was like sure you know whatever at this point i'm literally starving i don't want to be there and i drop a hint to everyone and i'm just like hey guys you want to get some food so we all decide that we're gonna wrap everything up and leave however wanda and cosmo wanted to smoke and wanda knows this about me i'm not a smoker i've never been a smoker i've never smoked a day in my life and i hate being around smoke i hate being around people that are actively smoking so they decided to smoke on the patio so they wouldn't hotbox me in cosmo's car by the way cosmo agreed to drive us to wherever we we're gonna eat and drive wanda and i back to my house so wanda could hop in her car and go home anyway had to make that point yeah okay cool you guys smoke on the patio and then we can go cool perfect you know but we head for the patio wanda's in front of me i'm in the middle cosmo's behind me so we're walking through the dance floor in a line tell me why tell me why 
you know the story's about to be good when somebody like does like the head movements. Tell me why I feel a hand slap my butt, squeeze my butt, and like wiggle my butt. I was like, I have to demonstrate this because I just, I don't know how I like. I'm going to demonstrate this. This is where this hand had me fucked up. So I like turn my head around to the direction where the hand came from. Like looking around, I look at Cosmo and Cosmo is literally looking at me like this. And then he like points in the direction of the hand. And this hand is owned by this man that I have never seen a day in my fucking life. And he's literally looking at me like this. Mm. Like, giving me that vibe like, yeah, I did that, now come over here. I literally am furious. I'm so mad. This man just violated me. So I step up to him and I punch his chest and I'm like, who the fuck do you think you're touching like that? You don't fucking know me. I don't fucking know you. How dare you think you can touch me like that? Like literally going in on him. And Cosmo like pulls me back and he's like, Miriam, like calm down, calm down. And I'm like, no, this nigga straight disrespected me. Like who the fuck does that? He's like, just calm down, calm down. And I like shoo him off of me. And I take one step up to him and I was like, don't you ever disrespecting me like that ever again wanda comes to my right she's like what the fuck happened in her hand i see the margarita that i gave her earlier i literally grabbed it from her and drenched this guy's shirt in that margarita and threw the cup down and then i feel these big hands grab my arm and pull me to the left and it is one of the bouncers that works for the club so he walks me inside and sits me on the edge of the couch and is like calm down and then he like walks away and i'm like sitting there for i think at least 30 seconds before i see wanda and cosmo walking through the door cosmo was like yo did you know that guy and i was like no i have never seen that guy a day in my fucking life and he's like yo like i kid you not like i saw him reaching for you so i was like oh he must know her i thought he was reaching for your arm and then i saw his hand go down and grab your butt and i was like oh so he must really know her and then when you turned around and had that look on your face i was like oh but i don't think she knows him no i have never seen this guy a day in my life did not give him permission to touch me he was like yo like he grabbed you like he knew you so wanda mentions to me that you know she had like a mini conversation with this guy and his people so apparently this guy was with like a group of girls she was like the guy was literally just like whatever the girls that he was with was like whatever like not that serious walk away okay now look if i was hanging out with a guy at a club party whatever and i saw him grab another girl the way he grabbed me i don't even care if i know the girl or not i'm going to approach that guy that i'm with and be like yo what the fuck you don't grab girls like that like who do you think you are and i would instantly apologize to the girl on this guy's behalf especially if he's on the vibe of like oh like it's not that serious i feel like as women we should at least be protecting each other to that extent wanda pretty much told me that those girls were literally not on that vibe they were just like he's good he's good and i think she mentioned something about them talking about jumping somebody y'all i don't even know like it was just too much too much so you know me wanda and cosmo we're all like you know huddled up going over the story again wanda's telling me her part cosmo's telling me what he saw you know like when you and a group of friends had something super crazy happen to you and then after that crazy thing is done all of you guys come together and like tell your perspective of the story that's pretty much what we were doing and the whole time i'm like how come this guy's not getting kicked out i don't see him coming through with any security guard like he's literally like not gonna get kicked out whatever so we're all pretty much wrapping it up and we're like we're gonna leave this shit it's so lame like whatever and then i see this man this little bitch 
come through the doors being accompanied by I think one or two security guards I'm not really sure how many his shirt is off he's just wearing a tank top he's walking towards me now I don't like the way this guy is walking towards me like he like is walking very aggressively nobody's stopping him he's literally beelining it over to me and then I remember I took like one step behind Cosmo because I was like, oh, hell no. And he comes up to us and he's like, all you had to do was talk. All you had to do was talk. I'm just like, all I had to do was talk. Oh, hell no. So I come from behind and I take one step up to him and I'm like, you seriously expect me to be okay with you touching me like that? And then I feel Cosmo's arms wrap around my waist and kind of like pull me back. And I'm like, no, 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 let me talk to him. Let me talk to him. And I'm pretty much just saying like, you disrespected me. I don't owe you nothing. And then the guy starts talking mad shit back to me. And I'm like, is this guy serious right now? Like, are you seriously upset right now? Like, you should have no reason to be upset with me right now. I'm like bouncing off of his vibe and I'm like noticing that his body language is getting a little too aggressive for my liking uh, instantly my adrenaline goes up because i'm like this guy's trying to fight like this guy's literally trying to fight right now he's literally talking mad shit in my face cosmo is literally like in between us at this point poor cosmo cosmo did not want to fight this guy and i don't blame cosmo for not wanting to fight this guy i think cosmo's on the vibe of yo i don't want to fight this guy but like i don't want him to hit her so let me like try to stay in between these two because he's being aggressive and it's making her aggressive mind you the whole time there are bouncers that are literally huddled up around us wanda is literally to my left like saying something along the lines of hey are y'all gonna get him like get him away from her like are y'all seriously just standing there cosmo's literally like yo back up i'm like fuck you get the fuck out of my face like get the fuck out of my face he's literally like like this like like what like what and i'm just like is this man serious right now you know when a guy is like literally ready to fight and they do that thing where they're not saying anything but they're like this what what like what and i'm just like can you get out of my face i'm literally telling him get out of my face he's like man fuck you bitch like you know saying stuff like that and i'm like are you fucking kidding me right now like i'm like pissed i'm like get the fuck out of my face literally yelling off the top of my lungs for this guy to get out of my face wanda is literally yelling get him out of her face like what the fuck are y'all doing to the security guards Cosmo is in between us like yo move and he's literally telling the security guards are y'all gonna get him or not like bruh fucking bouncers are just standing there like like literally just waiting for a show I don't know what the heck Cosmo is in between us I'm pushing Cosmo into this guy this guy's pushing Cosmo into me like we're doing this thing where we're pushing Cosmo into one another like mind you this guy kind of like had Cosmo and I cornered because remember I told you guys I was sitting on the edge of that couch we're literally cornered into this couch at this point like there's like a, a freaking plant a fake plant on this side like, Cosmo is like yo like what are you doing like yo like what are you doing this guy is completely disregarding cosmo who is literally an inch away from his face and he literally has his eyes on me and then i yell in his face and i'm like get the fuck out of my face and this man balled up his fist and punched me in my right eye literally punched me in my right eye I don't think you guys understand the anger that built up within me. Like, if I thought I was angry before, here I was hot. Like, I saw red. This man literally just put his hands on me. Who the heck raised this man, baboons? You violated me. I got upset because you violated me. I threw a drink at you as a result of you violating me. And you come in 
approach me, start talking shit to me, and end up punching me in the face because I threw a drink at you because you violated me. I'm convinced you were raised by baboons. I'm convinced. As soon as he did that, this is when all the bouncers decided to jump in. Somebody had me up in the air. I don't know who. Like, I'm literally at this point just trying to throw punches. Like, I'm literally, oh, fuck no. Like, literally, like, like just throwing punches in whatever direction I can. They already took this guy away. My intentions is to grab the fucking plant to throw at him, but the only thing that comes up is the fucking branches. <laughs> so I start throwing whatever I can. Like I'm literally throwing whatever I can in this guy's direction. I have all these bouncers like literally blocking all of us, like literally blocking me, Cosmo, and Wanda. Like I told you guys, I see red. I'm fucking human. Like. There is a certain level of disrespect m many people just don't tolerate. Like, you've already disrespected me once. I got angry. I threw the drink at you. Now you came to my face and disrespected me a second time. Now I'm hot. I want to fight this man. I don't care that he's a man. I don't care that he's bigger than me. I don't care that he's stronger than me. I don't care that I 90% of the chance will fucking lose this fight. I just want to hit this man. Like, literally, don't give a fuck, like, about anything. That's literally where my mindset was at that moment. I'm fucking human. Like, if anybody hits you, what do you do? You just say, oh, oh, my bad. <laughs> I'm just gonna walk, no. I want to fight you right now. The bouncers are in a line like in the middle of the dance floor, the guys on the other side just like walking around freely. And I'm like trying to get past the bouncer, trying to get past the bouncer. He's like, yo, stop. I'm like, no, I wanna fight him. Like, no, get out of my face. Like, no, like, and he's like, yo, like calm down. I'm like, okay, I'll calm down, I'll calm down. Yeet! I literally run past the bouncer, beeline it to this guy, and then I just feel arms like grab me and like pull me back so hard another fucking bouncer at this point they're like holding me back i'm like i want to press charges on this guy and this guy's like calm down calm down i'm like no this guy disrespected me not one time but two times and you guys allowed him to do it the second time i need his information and the guy's like we're gonna get it we're gonna get it i was like i need you to call the police right now he's like yeah yeah we'll call them and he was giving me like a sarcastic vibe i was like i'm not stupid i know you're not gonna call them then i hear this other guy saying get him out of here get them out of here so they take me and my friends to this back door down these stairs and out the club and like yeah they kicked us out of the club <laughs> the bouncer stands in front of the door to make sure we don't come back in next to this door outside is a table and a chair i sit down in the chair wanda is standing up by the bouncer like you know outside the door and i tell cosmo cosmo can you please call the police for me he's like i'm gonna call the police and i'm like yes he's like okay so he calls the police. Wanda's literally talking to this bouncer like, you guys handled this situation so poorly. Like they must not be paying y'all enough. This, that, and the third, like she is going in on this man. So I'm just sitting there like replaying everything in my head. Like how the heck did this happen? Cosmo comes back and he's like, okay, the cops are on the way. And I'm like, okay. As we're sitting there, I notice in my right peripheral, a guy being accompanied by two three four I'm not really sure girls walking in my direction i turn and i'm like it's the guy i'm like okay because i remember wanda telling me something about these girls mentioning something about jumping somebody beating someone up i don't even know i instantly like prepare myself to get jumped i'm like these girls are going to jump me like i'm sitting there and i'm just like okay you about to get jumped girl but you're gonna give it all that you got like every ounce of fight you have in you you are going to give it all that you got you might lose but you're gonna give it all that you got i turn to the bouncer and i'm like look this is the guy 
that literally not only violated me but physically assaulted me and I don't feel safe he's walking towards me right now can I come inside until he passes by he looks at me and then he goes no and I'm just like okay he's walking closer and closer to me and I'm my heart starts racing like I just start hearing echoes like everything is an echo at this point because I'm just like prepared to get my ass beat right now <laughs> like I don't think you guys understand like I was so scared like, so he walks past me he gives me the dirtiest look you know on the movie baby boy when Snoop Dogg pulled up to baby boy in the car right before he shot up baby boy's house and the look Snoop gave baby boy. That is the look this man was giving me. Like I was so intimidated. I literally looked at him and just like looked away. And then Wanda was like, and you did not say nothing to her. And he just like walks off. I was like, oh my God, they didn't beat us up. He's literally walking away, about to hit this corner. And we see a cop on a bike riding past us we're all like hey hey cosmo like beelines it to this cop i beeline it to this cop i'm like yelling i'm like get that guy over there he fucking punched me i want to press charges go get him go get him and then he's like stop yelling at me what in the world happened no more than 30 seconds later a bunch of cops come in there on their bikes they're asking me, Wanda, and Cosmo, like, what happened? We're telling them what happened. I write a police report. Wanda writes a police report. And then the cop asks me, do you want to press charges? And I said, yes. You smacked me on my butt. Like, that's not something that's normal. Like, you don't go around smacking people on their butts, especially if you don't know them. Like, so you smacked me on my butt. Clearly I'm human. I'm gonna get pissed. I got upset with you, threw a drink at you, and it was done. Like, we were, like, I was literally gonna leave. I was literally gonna walk away from the situation. You then proceeded to approach me again, like the fucking baboon that you are. Like, and not only verbally disrespected me, but you physically assaulted me. Like, you punched me in my face for simply telling you to get out of my face. So they handcuff him, they arrest him. Cosmo, Wanda, and I leave. We go back to my place and we call it a night. And remember, I told you guys I had to be at an event early in the morning. Like, ugh, it's like three o'clock in the morning. I think I had to be there at like eight. I go to the bathroom, I remove my makeup, and I notice my right eye is not only swollen, but it's also red. And I was just hoping and praying that it wasn't gonna like turn into a black eye because I had an event to go to. The next morning I wake up, get ready for this event. And on my way to this event, I decide to contact a civil attorney that I was referred to. Um, the reason why I decided to contact a civil attorney is because it would not have escalated to where it did had the security guards did their job, had the security guards handled the situation the way that they were supposed to handle the situation. He should not have been able to even approach me after that. Like he freely was just able to approach me after we had already had an altercation. Like that's like two people like fighting and then you separate them and then you just allow them to go at it again and on top of that me and my friends repeatedly told you guys to take this guy out of my face and you failed to take him out of my face i asked you to call the police and you did not call the police you did not get this guy's information and on top of that i told one of your security guards that i did not feel safe as he was walking towards me outside and you literally told me that i was not allowed back into your establishment so i tell him everything that happens and he's instantly like on board he's like this is a fucking good case he's like i need you to tell your friends to type up their side of the story because they're witnesses he's like, email it to me you type up everything down to the detail down to what you were wearing what time you thought it was who was on your left who was on your right who was behind you who did you see in front of you he was like as soon as i receive this i will um 
okay look I don't know much about the law but pretty much he told me something along the lines of he was going to get some kind of authorization to get the cameras from the club before they deleted the footage because clubs be doing that shit so I contact Wanda and I'm like hey this is what's happening can you please contact Cosmo and let him know like can you guys please like, type up uh, everything that you saw so later that night I get a call from Wanda and she pretty much tells me that like, they don't want no parts of the criminal case they want no parts of this incident at all and I'm just like why and she felt as if like it would have put her in danger to be involved in that case because we don't know this guy we don't know what he's capable of we don't know if he's gonna come after anybody like you know whatever and Cosmo just had many run-ins with the police and he just didn't want to be a part of any cases and I was just like okay well I guess I don't have any more witnesses <laughs> so I contact the lawyer and I pretty much tell him hey um my friends backed out like they don't really want any parts of it and he goes oh you just better hope that the camera footage is legit but even then this is no longer a strong case without witnesses like, I don't have any more witnesses I don't have a case against the club I might not have a case against this guy like so pretty much like everyone's just gonna get away with this and I'm like I'm not okay with that like I'm just not I think about two weeks to a month later I get a call from the state attorney's office and she pretty much asks me she's like hey do you want to proceed with this case do you want to press charges and I was like very indecisive I was like I don't know I pretty much explained to her like I no longer had any witnesses like they wanted no parts of it and I like I wanted to respect that like do you think we even have a case and she was like yeah I mean I still think you have a case even without witnesses but it'd be nice to have witnesses and I'm just like well like they don't want any parts of it so is there any way to do it without that and she was like we can try she was like there is a way we can do it without it hopefully we can find camera footage we can look at the the police's body cam we can take other factors into consideration and um build a case off of that but just know that if this goes to trial they will have no other choice but to be a part of it and i was like okay do you think it's gonna go to trial she was like i don't know and i was like can you just tell me based off your experience like do cases like this typically make it to trial and she's like mm, honestly probably most likely not like you know from my experience but this case i don't know and i'm just like you know what whatever let's continue on and see where it goes a couple of months goes by i get a letter pretty much saying that i need to show up to something called a deposition pretty much like i need to go to the courthouse and tell my side of the story to the public defender of this guy so did that apparently this guy was trying to tell them that first of all he was saying that it was very dark no it wasn't it was a day party yeah the sun was going down but dude it was not dark and then he was saying oh I probably brushed up against her and she just took it the wrong way you know darn well you meant to do that and he pretty much was like denying everything else the fact that he punched me in my face the fact that he came up to me like everything and i was just like this guy is straight up lying his public defender was asking me like did you guys have a conversation before did you have a drink how much did you drink and remember i told you guys i drink a quarter of a margarita so <laughs> your girl was not drunk so i have a meeting with my public defender and she pretty much tells me like hey um, are you sure your friends don't want any parts of it? He will not see the light of day for a very long time if he even tries to make contact with any of you guys. I pretty much told her like, no, they are, they're pretty like, they don't want no parts of this. And she's pretty much like, okay, well, I'm going to reach out to them anyway, just to like kind of keep them updated because like their names are on all of this and like see if I can even like just get them to see you know that you know everything will be okay like you know whatever and I was just like okay I mean you can but like I said they told me that they didn't want no parts of it you can try some drama unfolds in between the time of the deposition and the court date and I you know was just like you know this drama is just too much I think I want to drop this case like it's just getting very annoying at this point so I call my public defender and I'm just like hey like you know I'm having second thoughts about this I low-key like kind of want to drop this like da -da 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 -da. she's pretty much like Miriam if you're telling me that this guy did this to you why would you want him to walk and I'm just like 
I know, but my friends. And she's pretty much telling me like, you should do this for you and not anybody else. Like, And she's like, I'm gonna tell you something. This guy is not a nice guy. He's done stuff like this in the past. Like he has many charges that are similar to this and you want to let him walk now if he was you know some guy who's in school and you know he just had a bad night you know didn't have anything in his past then i get it like i totally get it but she's like he's not a nice guy he has a criminal past like at that moment i was like wow now i will feel super shitty if i let this guy walk and he ends up doing this to somebody else and the situation ends in an unfortunate circumstance i will literally like i will literally not be able to live with myself i'm, I'm not just like no i'm gonna press charge i'm doing this to get justice for myself and this is what's gonna make me feel good like just pretty much like fuck everybody else like i don't care so time goes on at this point i'm no longer talking to wanda and cosmo we're no longer friends like there was just a lot of drama in between you know that deposition and like you know the actual court date now we're at a week before i have to be at court public defender calls me you know she tells me the plan she's like this is what we're gonna do da -da 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 -da, whatever whatever she tells me the way court is set up you have a week window pretty much and the judge will call you to court at any given moment so pretty much if you're at work you need to let your supervisor know hey i might be called to court at any given moment because as soon as they call you to court you have to be there within like an hour or two hours or something like that and then she mentions to me you know he's currently in jail and he also has a trial for something else and i'm like wait 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 wait, wait, wait. pause i was like he's in jail still Mind you, at this point, it's like, it's like six or seven months later. And I'm just like, he's in jail. And she goes, yeah, he's been in jail since the night that, you know, your incident happened. And I'm like, so he didn't bail himself out? Like, that's so weird. She was like, that night that he was arrested from the situation that happened with you, he had a pending warrant out for his arrest already for something else. And I was like wow so he would have got arrested anyway pretty much it was one of those situations where it was like i guess when he got to the jail they were like oh yo we was about to call you anyway like you just came to us wow i guess for my situation he probably would have been able to bail himself out but because he had like another situation on top of my situation either the I don't know the exact situation, but either there wasn't a bail or he probably couldn't afford to bail himself out um, with both of those, you know, charges. So I was like, wow, this man has been in jail this whole time. So he pretty much po posed no threat to any of us. He didn't pose a threat to me or my friends because he's been in jail. I'm just chilling in the house and she calls me and she says, hey, it's time come to court and I'm like oh shit okay and she tells me hey I'm gonna be in court pretty much all day I will not be able to answer my phone so she's like I will be emailing you any update she then emails me and she says hey you don't need to come to court anymore and I'm like what the heck so she uses like tons of political jargons and I'm just like lady i don't know what you're saying you're using big words like what does this mean like what are you trying to tell me so i pretty much tell her like i'm confused i don't know what this means so she calls me and she's like hey i can't talk for long um i'm in court but i'm gonna tell you really really fast she goes um you don't have to come to court because he pled guilty he owned up to everything she was like yeah congratulations you won the case cool that worked out pretty much um he had to do three months for what he did to me and a substantial amount of time for the other thing that he did i'm still not sure what he did i mean I, i'm pretty sure i could look up his name but um apparently the time that he would have done for me and the time that he would have done for the other thing that he did would have overlapped anyway so i guess he was kind of like well f it let me just own up to this like i'm gonna be in jail anyway like, he owned up to everything. Like, I have learned so much from this situation. Like, I literally refuse to go to the club unless I'm bartending. Um, I've also learned that, you know, you're gonna have people in your life who are fully willing to be there for the good times when it comes to the bad times. Like, 
most likely they won't want to be a part of it you know and you have to accept that like not everybody wants to be a part of your bad times and it sucks i had to reevaluate my circle like i have lost friends from this it is what it is i want to know you guys' opinion about this situation what would you have done would you have dropped it would you have continued on with it like what do you think about this whole situation like i want to know comment down below what you guys think about this whole situation i hope you guys enjoyed this story time there will be more story times to come believe it or not i've had crazier things happen to me don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel and i hope you guys enjoyed this video